everybody. This is Pastor Susan and welcome to a new week of devotions as we are continuing our four-week sermon series on treasure as in, as in the scripture which says where your treasure is there your heart will be also. Jesus talked a lot about uh, what we treasure and how uh, it shapes our lives and our uh, decisions that we make and this week we're going to be talking about a passage of scripture that says a house divided and we're going to be talking about you cannot serve two masters you can't serve two masters and so today um, I want to remind us when we think about a house divided we might think back in American history to those words that were quoted by Abraham Lincoln when he was addressing the issue of slavery that had divided our country and had led to the Civil War. And, um, and he said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. We think of this as a great political statement when in actuality he was quoting Jesus. Listen to these words from Mark chapter 3 verses 24 to 25. Jesus says this, if a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. We know that's true. And we, you know, I think all of us have um, lamented the ways in which we've experienced division in our world and especially in our country. And we wonder about um, our ability to be united again, and yet um, this is actually, Jesus isn't talking um, so much about the nation and politics as he is talking about the heart. Um, our heart can't be divided. Our lives can't be divided. We're going to serve one or the other. What is our treasure? That's where our heart's going to be. And Jesus is saying, you know, if your relationship with God is not in the priority place of your life, if there are other things that are vying for your attention, it divides you. And I'd like for you and me to think about this way, that um, if we want to invest ourselves in the things that God treasures, what is that calling us away from? Um, because, you know, whether it is a concern about money, um, or it's a concern about relationships, or it's a concern about possessions. Jesus says, be careful. Be careful about where that's taking priority in your life. You know, when we get ourselves into relationship or other kinds of troubles in our life, it's a result not of a probably a major decision that we've made. Sometimes it is, but more likely than not, it's about the little things the decisions that we make every single day that in and of themselves don't seem to be a big deal until they are put on top of each other and those decisions that we make regarding finances or um, the hurts that we may be experiencing. Uh, Paul talks about not letting a root of bitterness take place in our lives. Where does it start? It starts with taking offense uh, by something and it's um, I've said before, this is offense is the bait of Satan. How is your house in order? Is it in order of priority based upon your relationship with God and the way of Jesus that calls us, that calls us to love God with all we are and all that we have and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves? Or is it based upon other things? I think all of us can admit that there are times in our lives when our house is very divided. And what happens when that, when that occurs is that our effectiveness as followers of Jesus Christ is diminished. And so today I'd like to invite us to think about our roles in our lives um, and our relationships with God and with others. And where do we need to have some adjustments? What's ruling our house? Is it divided in some ways that are not healthy? Um, in our lives, let's be honest. Let's take a moment today to think about that and to bring it to God and ask God to take first place in our lives once again. May it be so. Amen and amen.